This hive uh, originally started as a split off of my very strong hive, which I have just recently, uh, the queen, first of all, this, the queen originally uh, swarmed, uh, tried to grow another queen, they never did, it became a queenless hive, and it's gone. But this right here is a sister from that original queen, uh, or at least I hope there's a queen in here, but this is a solid bottom board. All of the other hives have a screen bottom board. I wanted to, to, sit, to do a comparison between screen bottom boards and solid bottom boards. Uh, but you notice there is just a lot of bearding here. And in the evening time, it, it goes way down, way down south as far as the beard goes. And so I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to put a slatted rack uh, between the bottom board and the bottom brood chamber to help with some of the air ventilation to see if it will help them have better air ventilation and less beardy. So, I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. I'm going to start digging in and taking it apart down to the, down the bottom. sting, they leave a pheromone that tells the others where to come. Ah. Now, let's get this straightened up. Put that back on. Man, I feel like, I feel like I'm on fire. All right, well, you can see that they lit me up. And we'll just see if we can kind of add a little bit of stability to what's going Now I want to look to see if there is a queen in here. They still start stinging me. I have, may have to go get long pants on. All right, here. Here we can see we do have some cap worker brood. Cap worker brood here. I don't see the queen on this frame. Good, good brood pattern here. Even bringing in some pollen. Still hadn't seen the queen yet. This is an anxious hive, there's no doubt about that. This frame is mostly pollen. Oh, 
nice solid pattern of brood here. Good solid pattern of brood. This hive is a good healthy hive. I'd like to see the queen, but there's no need. There's no need to go any further. I just crush a bunch of bees. Leave it in.